Chapter 2, Lesson 6, Estimate with Percents. You will be able to estimate the percent of a number. Estimating with percents will provide a reasonable solution to many real-world problems. Choose compatible numbers when estimating the percent of a number. Complete the following problems. Estimate 47% of 692. Well, 47% is approximately 50%, and I would say that 692 is approximately 700. So on our table or bar here, we're going to put our percents up top, 0%, and all the way, the entire bar, all the way to the end is 100%. Okay? We're going to do our number on the bottom, 0 all the way to 700. Now, we want 50%. 50% is in the middle of 0 and 100%. So we need to find what's in the middle of 0 and 700. And the way we do that is we take our 700 divided by two boxes. So 700 divided by 2 is 350. Therefore, 50% 50 of 700 is 350. Letter B. Estimate 60% of 27. Well, I like 60%, but I'm going to change 27 to 30. So now, our percents go on top. We have 0% all the way to 100%. Let me fix that a little. Okay. And on the bottom, we would go from 0 all the way to 30. Now we have to think, how can I break apart 60%? I can't do halfway like I did in letter A. But what you can do is count by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. As long as you can get the number in there and the boxes are evenly spaced, you're good. So we would have 20%, 40%, 60% and 80%. Okay, so then we take our number of 30 and we divide it by the number of boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means it, count ups and it counts up in increments of 6. So my first box would be 6. Then the next would be 12. Count by 6's. 18 and 24 and then 30 and now we need to find what 60 percent is so find your 60 percent bar and 60 percent is 18 letter C 48% of 76. Well, 48%, I would say, is close to 50. And 76, I would say, is close to 80. Percents on top, 0 to 100. And halfway in between is 50. Numbers on bottom, 0 to 80. Then you take 80 and divide by the number of boxes, which there are two, and you get each line is 40. Well, there's only one line, so that line is 40, so 0, 40, 80, so which means 50% would be 40. Letter D, estimate 18% of 42. I would say 18% is close to 20, and 42 is close to 40. 
label our boxes 0% to 100% and our numbers 0 to 40. Again with the percents you could count by tens 10, 20, 30, 40 all the way up to 100 or you can also count by 20s. As long as you can count by a certain number to get to 100 and space them out evenly, it doesn't matter. So I have five boxes here, so we'll count by 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, and of course 100. So then we take our 40 and we divide it by five boxes. which means it count, counts up by 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, and of course 40. We are interested in 20%, so our answer is 8. Letter E. Kaylee decided to donate 30% of her savings if she has $238 in her savings account, about how much will she donate? Okay. So we go from 0% to 100. And with this one, 30, I can't count by 30s, 30, 60, 90. I can't count by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. But I can count by 10s. So worst case scenario, you can always count by 10s. So let's count by tens. Now you won't always get a bar that has um, lines dividing it. You'll sometimes have to make your own bar. Okay, and then she has $238 which I would round to 240. So I would go 0 to 240. And we take our 240 and divide it by the number of boxes. There are 10 boxes. So 10 into 240. is 24. So let's count by 24s. 24, 48, 72, 72 plus 24 is 96, 96 plus 24 is 120, plus 24 is 144, plus 20 is 160, or plus 24 is 170, plus 24 is 194, plus 24 is 218, I think I did math wrong somewhere in here, Um, let's see where I made my mistake here. Uh, 72 plus 24. Aha, right here. Should be 168. Let me fix that real quick. That's what I get for trying to do it in my head. <laughs> no big deal. We'll fix it. So 120 plus 40 or 120 plus 24 is 144. Then plus 24 again is 168. That's where my mistake was. Plus 24 is 192. Plus 24 is 216. And then plus 24 is 240. Okay. We are interested. In 30%. So she will donate approximately 
$72. When you're doing your PARs, if you get to your desired percentage, um, you don't necessarily have to finish filling out the bottom. You can also estimate with percents using a rate per 100. What that means is you take your amount and make it a multiple of 100. So estimate using a rate per 100. Now, this time I'm not going to estimate my 17%. I'm just going to estimate the number. The number, 198, is closest to 200. And what's interesting, you have 17%. Okay, 17% of 100, okay, would equal just plain old 17. But we actually have 200, 100 plus 100, okay. So what we can do is add them together, specifically these numbers. And we get 34. Again, because 100 plus 100 gives us that 200. Okay, so 17% of 200 equals 34. Let's do another example, letter B. Estimate 20% of 307. I'm going to change 307 to 300. Okay, so we have 100... 100 and 100. When we add those together, we get 300. Okay. When we want to find 27% of 100, it's just the 27. It's just the percent. Okay. So we can add 27 three times because I have three 100s. So 27 plus 27 plus 27. We've got 81. So 81 is our answer here. And I'm noticing I added an extra zero for some reason. Not quite sure. Letter C. 76% of 192. Leave the 76, but round 192 to 200. Remember, 100 plus 100 gives us the 200. So we just add the percentage two times. So we get 152. Letter D, 67% of 208. We'll change that to 200. Again, 100 plus 100 equals 200. So we add 67 for every 100 we see. And we get 134. Letter E. An airline records the snack of pass snack orders of passengers. Last year, 9% of all passengers ordered ginger ale to drink. There are 408 passengers on the flight to Houston, Texas. About how many passengers does the airline expect to order ginger ale on this flight? So there are 408 passengers. I'm going to round that to a nice 400. Again, we want to round to hundreds to use this method. 400 is the same as 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. Okay. Which means I take my percent and add it four times. This was 400. So 36 passengers. Now, this is definitely a faster method. However, you can only use this method when you're estimating per 100, when it's very close to 100 over here, and it'll specifically tell you per 100.